Hey, hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be doing some division. We have a one, two, three, four, five digit number. We're going to be dividing by a two digit number. But before we do that, um, yeah, I was playing with dinosaurs and I love dinosaurs. And if you take a, a look, a look at the link above there, um, that is my new channel called Dino Math. Um, I think you're going to really like it. I love uh, dinosaurs, so it's going to be everything dinosaur related. And we're going to be doing some mathematics and dinosaurs. So that's why I named the show Dino Math. And it's just, oh my goodness, it's just, I, I love it. So I'd really appreciate it if you can go over there, hit that subscribe button, take a look at some of the videos, and uh, let me know what you think. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on this big problem right there. Um, how do you do it? How do you do it? You got to take this easy cheesy lemon squeezy one step at a time. This is almost like, you know, if we take, uh, it's almost like a one digit number, it's a two digit number, but we have to be able to fit that into this number right there. So can I put 45 into five? You just can't do it. You can try to push it and squeeze it in there. It's not going to work. Can I put 45 into 59? You can. So let's go ahead and do that. How many times can you put that in there? One time. So I put the one right above the nine right there. And so that would, now I'm going to do multiplication. So one times 45 equals 45. So I put 45 right here. And now my next step is subtraction. So nine minus five equals four. And then five minus four is one. So I still have a two digit number, but it's smaller than 45. So don't worry about it. What is our next step in the operation of division? You bring that next number down, just bring it down. <laughs> right there. So now I got to figure out how many times can I put 45 into 142? So I don't know. So we have to do a little figuring over on the side right here. So I'm going to put uh, 45 times two and five times two would be zero. Carry the one, four times two is eight plus the one would be 90. I can definitely put more in here. All right, so let's just crank that up a little bit. Let's try 45 times four. So five times four would be 20. Carry the two. Four times four, 16, 17, 18. Too big, too high. Got to bring it down, bring it down. So let's try 45 times three. So five times three would be 15. Four times three, 12 plus the one, 13, 135. That's a closer number. I don't want to use four. So now I'm going to take that three. I'm going to put it right above that two right here. So three times 45. I got the answer already. 135. Just like that. And then I subtract. And before I start that, I just want to let you know this problem right here, that was sent to me um, from a... Uh, a one of my subscribers, and they put that in the comments. So I do read your comments. Um, I love reading your comments. I love reading like where you're from or what you're doing or maybe your favorite hobby or cookie. And this person wrote me to do this problem. So thank you very much for doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and subtract. So um, two minus five, can't do it. I need to borrow. So turn that into a three and this is a 12. So 12 minus five, what would that be? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. My fingers don't work with the marker right there. So that would be seven. All right, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Three minus three, zero. One minus one, zero. I don't need to put the zeros there. I have a remainder of seven, but I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I still have another number to bring down. So that would be that four. So just bring that down. <laughs> And try to make it fun on this channel. Add a little beatboxing here. 74. All right. So remember, when I did 45 times 2 right here, that was 90. That's too big. So I can only put 45 into 74 one time. So I'm going to put the 1 right here. 1 times 45. 
is 45, subtract, and now I'm going to, I have to borrow here, so this turns into a 6, that is 14, 14 minus 5, 9, and then 6 minus 4, 2, 2 de ta 2, all right. Can I put 45 into 29? You can't, all right? That's too small. So now, the next step, bring the next number down. Bring that next number down. <laughs> right here. Eight. Eight is great. So now I have 298. Do I have a number here that's close to that? Um, I think I might have to do a couple more little figurines here. 45. Let's try, um, hmm, maybe I'll try 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 4 is 20. Then 22. Let's try 45 times 6, just to show you what this looks like. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 4 times 6, 24. 25, 26, 27. That's as, that's as much as we can go. If I did 45 times 7, I'll show you right here. 45 times 7, this would be too big. So 5 times 7 is 35. Carry the 3. 4 and 7, 28, 29, 30, 31. Too big, too big. Got to stick with 6. All right, so we're going to put 6 right over here. 6 times 45 is 270. So I put 270 right here, subtract, 8 minus 0 is 8, 9 minus 7 is 2. That is our remainder. We do not have any other number to drop down. That's the remainder right there. So I put an R right here, remainder 28 right there. Yeah. How'd you like that? Hey, thanks so much for joining the show. I sure appreciate it. If you can hit the subscribe button to this channel, go check my other channels out, the Dino Math channel. I sure, oh my goodness, I need some more subscribers over there. I also have a learning fun channel and an outdoor channel. Um, so I've been working uh, a lot on that. Oh golly, I've been having a great summer and um, it's been so cool. I was actually um, over uh, in the ocean doing some snorkeling um, off of the coast by uh, Columbia there, and I saw a nurse shark. I was swimming with a nurse shark. Can you believe it? I, I never saw a nurse shark before, and it's like, at first, it's like, do they bite or, you know, are they dangerous? But no, they're really mellow as long as you don't bother them. And um, I saw some other things. So I will have that complete video on my outdoor channel if you ever want to take a look at that. Um, but uh, I wonder if you like to go um, snorkeling or by the ocean. I uh, sure appreciate it if you leave a comment down below. Um, what do you like to do? You know, do you like to hang out by the ocean or the lakes and rivers? So, hey, I hope you're getting outside at least, enjoying the day. Um, we're going to have a great new school year. All kinds of stuff going on. And I do read comments, so if you got something you want me to try out, put it in the comments. I'll take a look at it. So, all right. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.